All right, here we go, guys. We're going to review for the first quiz. So, as always, we're going to take 45 or simplify them. So, can 2 go into 45? Nope. Can 3? Yep. So, 45 divided by 3? 15. 3 again? 5. Circle your pairs. And remember, they get moved out. Don't forget your ends, they get moved out too. So, simplified version, 3, in, 5 stays home, boom. Number 2, again, start with 2 first. 98 divided by 2 is, let's see here, 8, 49. 2 can't go into that, 3 can't go into that. I know what it is. I bet it's going to be 7. 7 and 7. Don't forget we have a B. The only pair is the 7s. So on the outside, it's 7. Square root 2 and B. Boom. Number 3. Yikes. But hey, we can do it. Again, start off with the 2. 224. Again, 2 again, 112, let's see, 2 can still go into that, 2, let's see, divided by, boom, 56, divide by 2 again, 28, divide by 2 again, 14, divide by 2 again, 7, holy cow. Hey, we still did it with one A left over. Again, circle your pairs. Here's one. Here's another one. And another. It looks like I'm going to have three twos outside. So don't forget about your negative six. So negative six times two times two times two. And then start your house. A seven and an A. 7a. Multiply all that out. So let's see. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. So negative 48 root 7a. Boom. Again, I know this one looks tough and scary, but start with 2. If you divide by 2, you should get 98, again, divide that by 2, you get 49, yeah, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Divide by 7, boom. X and X, circle your pairs, here's one, here's the other, they get together and move out. Want to tag it onto that negative 7, so negative 7, because it's already outside, times a 2 came from this pair, times 7 from this pair, and an x from right here. It doesn't look like we have anything left over, so all i got to do is multiply these up. So negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Negative 14 times 7 is negative 98. Bring down your x. Boom. Number five, I'll leave this here, but we can do it right underneath it. Multiply what's inside the house. Five times five is 25. But hey, what's the square root of 25? Five. Boom. Done. Over here, again, multiply. 10 times 15. The square root of 150. Start dividing. So 150 divided by 2 is 75. 75 divided by 3 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. This is our only pair, and these two are going to stay in the house. So square root, 5 is outside. 2 times 3. Dress this up. 5 root 6. 
Boom. Guys, we're halfway there. Seven. Again, distribute. So we have root 12 because you multiply what's inside the house. There's no house over here, so that 2 is going to chill out on the outside. Okay. This one we can break up. 2, 6, 2, 3. Again, here's your pair. So 2 is on the outside now. 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2. They're not like terms, so we're done. Over here, again, distribute. There's no house over here. There's no outside numbers. It's just going to be 2 root 5. Plus, root 5 times root 5 is root 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So 2 root 5 plus 5. I think we want to change this around a little bit, so we're going to write 5 plus 2 root 5. And this is typically how you write these, with the irrational number at the end. Okay? Let's see, next, we've got to break up that 45. We don't need to touch this 5, being that it's as low as it gets. 2 doesn't go into that, 3 does. So 45 divided by 3, 15. 3 and 5 again. Here's your pair. They move outside. Remember when I was going times 3? So let's rewrite it. Negative 3 root 5 minus, because the negative 1's here, negative 1 times 3. It's a negative 3. Start your house. Looky here. Like terms. So minus 6. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Bring down the root 5. Boom. This one, remember there's an imaginary 1 right here. So negative 1 minus 3 is a negative 4. There's the same radical, so root 3. This is low as it gets. Boom. Done. Guys, let's go ahead and cancel these out. This is root 12. This is root 12. A positive 2, negative 2. Guys, they cancel out. This is all that's left. Boom. That one was easy. Over here, we well, can't get away with that trick. So again, let's break this up. Again, here's your pairs. They get together, move out, times 2. I'm going to rewrite everything. 3 times 2 is 6. Root 3 plus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 3. These are our like terms. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Root 3 plus 3 root 2. Boom. All right. 13. Let's see here. Determine if the sum or product will be rational or irrational. So 14 plus root 5. This is irrational. This is rational must be irrational. This squared 50, mm -hmm. if we break this up, we get 2 to 25, 5 and 5, here's our pair, they move out. So now we have 5 root 2 for this root 50 times, let's see, root 200 is going to be 200 now let me let me get this out of my way. Oh, oh, oh. Now that one, and then this one. I know I'm cheating. You can't do this with your paper. All right, break up that 100 to 50 to 25. 5 and 5, so we have a 5 and a 2, so those move out, 2 times 5 is 10, and then we have a root 2, okay, remember, multiply what's outside, so 5 times 10 is 50, multiply what's inside the house, 2 times 2 is 4, what's the square root of 4, 2, so now it's 50 times 2, 
that's a hundred that's a rational number this is going to be rational nope that's all of it good night